Three months ago, I did a video showing my hair growth progress using Finasteride, Minoxidil, Microneedling, and at last Ketoconazol shampoo. These were my before and two and a half months after pictures. Today, I will give you an update of my hair regrowth progress after six months using the same treatments to see whether I had further hair regrowth, if it stayed the same, or if it got actually worse. Okay, so first I will quickly talk about the treatments I'm using. In a nutshell, I take finasteride once a day in the morning. To those of you who asked this last time in the comments, no, I have never had or am having any side effects such as erectile dysfunction or low libido due to finasteride. Not at all, everything is completely fine down there. <laughs> My personal opinion is that you should never be afraid of those potential side effects. Why? Because it is actually more difficult to get them than you think. Only a 2% of the population taking finasteride gets in reality one of those side effects. And in the case you get them, you can just quickly drop the treatment and the side effects will also go away. With minoxidil, I'm still applying it to my hairline every day at night. I do this in a routine kind of way. I prefer to do it around 8 o'clock in the evening because that's the time when I'm home and mostly don't have to go outside again. I have to say I have forgotten to apply it from time to time. Maybe in the past 6 months I forgot to apply it like around 7 or 8 times. But like with finasteride it is not so bad if you forget to take the product from time to time. Or if you go on vacation and you forget to bring the treatments with you, it will be normally okay as long as you don't forget to take the treatments for too long and too often. I also continue to microneedle my hairline where it is most affected by hair loss. However, before I used to microneedle once a week. Now I do it every two weeks. Why? Because I hate one of the side effects you actually get from microneedling, which is simply flaky skin. After microneedling, the skin will normally start to flake after two days. That is normal since the skin is getting rid of the dead cells you killed when you were microneedling and exchanging them for new and healthy ones. But the skin flakes for around three to four days and that's pretty much annoying and visually unpleasant to watch. So now I microneedle every two weeks instead, which I find is enough for getting the same hair results. One last thing, since the last time I've added Dutasteride every Sunday. For those who don't know, Dutasteride is like the older brother of Finasteride. It is known in the scientific literature and has been proven in some case studies the potential synergistic effect of taking Finasteride and Dutasteride. So yeah, I now take one pill of Dutasteride once a week in combination with Finasteride. However, I only recommend this to people that have a very strong type of hair loss like me who started balding in my adolescence when I was just 15 years old. If you have a normal type of hair loss, you will be completely fine by just using finasteride. Alright, so here are the result pictures you have been waiting for. This is before and 6 months after starting the treatment. In such a long time span, the results are obviously very good, as you can see. This is something you should also be expecting when you start these treatments, although it is fair to say that everyone reacts differently. But what happened compared to the last time I did this video? So here on the left you have the 2.5 months results and on the right the 6 months results. Well, as for the hair itself, it may not be so noticeable at the first glance. But there continue to be some overall regrowth, especially around the temple area. If you zoom in on the picture, you will see that I gained a few millimeters of new hair, which is obviously very nice. Every new millimeter of hairline is more than welcome. <laughs> so yeah, still some regrowth but not as much and as fast as compared to the first two and a half months. What is also worth mentioning is that not only the hair on top got much denser, but also my eyebrows, beard and even the eyelashes. That's definitely because of the minoxidil. I think some of it got systemic. But I mean, I will not complain. I think it looks even a bit better than before. However, the temple area continues to be a challenge. Although there are some new baby hairs coming in, it's the area where I first started bowling years ago and it's still the most difficult to recover. I feel like the conventional treatments are maybe not enough to recover that hair in that area. There are two options to recover the hair in the temple area. One is to do a hair transplant, but personally I prefer to leave that option as last resource. I will do it in case the medical treatments stop working. The second option is to add an androgen receptor blocker such as pyridotamide. Pyrilutamide is a very promising treatment 
that's undergoing clinical testing and has shown so far very positive results, regrowing hair in some cases even more than finasteride. Right now, although you can find it on the internet and buy it, it is for research purposes only. The treatment is undergoing clinical testing in the US and in China, so we will hopefully see it largely available in the market soon enough. In conclusion, it has been six months since I started with my hair regrowth treatment and the results have been fantastic. I've learned what works and what doesn't, and I'm excited to try new hair treatments to further boost my hair regrowth. Thanks a lot for watching and stay posted for the next updates. Adios.